Hey there guys, something ninja here. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to um, set up a survival games on a, a Minecraft server. This is 1.6.2. I'll probably change the title uh, because that's how I get more views. But anyway, I have my other... Uh, let me just find it. I have this tutorial, but it's actually slightly out of date now. Um, because it's, some of the rules have changed. So anyway, you want to go into bucket, just type that up there, and then bucket plugin search. I've got mine saved already here. This one is survival game 0.5.8.42. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. So all you need to do is just head onto this and download. You want to save it. Go into your Minecraft server wherever you saved it. Into your plugins, and you want to save your survival games there. Now with this with this plugin. Uh, there's a certain thing that happens. You're gonna need, I think, WinRAR or any other compatible program, and just extract all your files. I'm gonna extract them here. So we've got all of them there, and we can delete that now. So then, what you wanna do is turn on your server. I'm just gonna log in. Uh, this is a uh, shout out to Vice Mist because this is his texture pack. If you guys want to find out, it's called Vice Realms. If you need a link, just ask me or Vice Mist. I'm gonna join my server right there. Okay, um, the big question all of you are asking, so I'm gonna show you this one first. I'm just gonna just make sure. Okay, there's nothing, so I've just started this all again. So you want, um, you want World Edit as well. Put link in the description for that. Uh, this is my world edit tool. Where you just slash slash wand and you get a world edit tool. Uh, you want to left click. Well, you want to fill a wall with um, signs, and then you left click the top left one, and you right click the next one along in the same line. They've changed it. It used to be top left to bottom right, and then SG add wall, but now it's uh, top left to top right, and then you do SG add, add wall one. Um, as you see, Lewis has arrived. <laughs> okay, but you see here, nothing's shown up here because we have no arena set up. So let's go over to arena one. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Arena one. Oh, I can't see. Okay, so from here you want to head outside the map. I've already got a little walkway through here. I should probably cut that up. Block this in. And using your wand, you want to go to the lowest possible point on your map, which for me is here, um, and it's at the corner. So I've got that point there. And now you want to be heading up towards the, uh, the top, the topmost part of the map. So. I just keep heading up. I've already got a block of glass up here somewhere. There it is. Just keep going up. And then you want to right click this one. And I'm going to do slash sg create arena. So then arena one is successfully created. Next thing you want to do is where your spawns are set stand exactly where you want them to be and type in an SG set spawn next. And you go around in a circle. <coughs> you go around in a circle we're doing this for each one. I just do five so you know uh, so you know where the spawns are. Uh, now you want to go back to your spawn. And I'm gonna head over here. Now you want to set your lobby spawn, so SG set lobby spawn. Uh, it comes up with that, I, I don't know why it comes up with that, I think it's weird, but but that means it's work anyway, so. Again, now you want to do the add wall thing, so SG add wall, and then one. There we go, we've got number one up there. And then, right click. And we're in. So yeah, that's really simple. Um, if you need permissions for DOPS to play, check out my other video because that will show you 
um, how to set up your permissions through the app, although I think we use Group Manager now. Um, if you have any questions, then just ask about that. Um, if you want to make any changes to this, so say you want to add more spawns, I'll go back to my arena, set some more spawns, say I set 15 more, and then I come back here, add the wall again, ID 1, and it'll come up there. That's my arena 2 over there, so I'll set, I think, 16 spawns on that one. Come over here, left click that one, right click that one at the end, and SG add wall 2. And that'll give you your second one, and so on, and so on, and so on. Um, <laughs> Lewis is still getting me. Basically, I'm going to talk you through the files now that you get with this. So let's go in. It's a lot different to what it used to be, uh, which I find pretty good. You don't need that. Okay, so your chests. Um, here you have your tiers of chests. Level 1 is really easy to get, level 2 is quite easy, 3 is pretty rare, and 4 is really rare. Level 5 is impossible to get, so basically I have no idea why they even put it in there. Uh, these numbers, the 3 digit numbers, correspond to an item ID, so say 267 is an iron sword and the number next to it is the amount of times you'll get it in one chest so you can only ever get one iron sword in one chest that's just a basic thing if you guys are having problems accessing the chest I advise to start with that you go into here check if you have essentials there's two things you need to delete I think it's called essentials protect and essentials build or something like that um, Delete them too, and check whether it's working. If it's not working, then make sure you've got all of your permissions set up correctly, and it should it should work from that. I'm just going to close that real quick. Uh, next one I want to talk about is the configuration. This one deals with everything you need to know. So you've got your you got your start time. So when everybody votes. Um, that's how long they have to wait. I haven't set this up yet properly because I've only just downloaded it again. Uh, you've got your grace period, which is nobody can kill each other in uh, 20 seconds. Restock chest. All of the green writing tells you about it. and you, you see, It's really simple. Just do what it tells you to do and you'll be fine. Um, I think the next one along is kits. That's right. So on kits we have... Uh, this is quite new. I'm pretty sure this is to put like uh, different sets in. So like here they have test one, uh, test kit, and then you put a cost in, and then you put what you get in that kit, and you can promote people and demote people. And I'm still to learn about that because uh, that's really new. Messages. This is one of the other new things that it's one of my favourite things actually because I've just found it, and it's you can type your own messages in. So say if here we go, we've got death, so if we've got death by explosion, zombies, suicide, you can put anything in there, um, just kind of, it's kind of a troll really. Um, let me just check if there's anything else, you've got spawns, you don't really need to know that and you don't need to know systems because the spawns, as you see, uh, if you remember I set five, there you go, that's the, um, that's the coordinates for each of the five, obviously arena one there. I'll have 20 when I set Arena 2, it will have a number 2, and then 16 more. So it, it's really self explanatory and simple. If you guys have any questions, then don't hesitate to write in the comments. Uh, if you want to join my server and help us out, we need a build team because we're working on. Uh, sorry for the statue. Uh, <laughs> we're working on other stuff such as um, Arena 3. And we're going to need some. Uh, do I? Oh, I think it's lag. Um, yeah, we're going to need some help with ones like that, so if you guys can help us out, um, just write in the comments and I'll give you the IP. Um, yeah, so that's it really. Subscribe, uh, like, comment, and um, tell me how much you love me, because I'm amazing. See you later. Oh, brilliant. 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 Ah! Die, 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 die.